what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we have something to talk about regarding screen 5 recently matt benelli opened and tyler rigolette had a sit down with geek out cinema a youtube channel and i believe they have one of the executive producers on there as well with them what they were they were talking about essentially just the rationale and the reasoning for why screen 5 is just called scream and not screen 5 now we've already come to the conclusion that this is for marketing purposes and that's part of the reason but they're also telling us that there apparently is some type of narrative decision in the works with why some type of narrative decision in the works in regards to why this movie is simply being titled just scream so something involved in the film will tell us why it's called scream and not scream five because when asked during this interview why is it just called scream five uh that wasn't the exact wording of the question, but that was the gist of it. Why is it just called Scream 5? They basically were tight-lipped on that. They didn't want to address it too much. They didn't want to give too much away because they didn't want to touch it on any any type of spoilers whatsoever. No, they didn't want to get into any type of spoiler territory, give people too much uh, to pick from. And in a way, I kind of like what they're doing here with us. They're they're building this excitement and this anticipation for a project we've all been waiting for. If you're a fan of the Scream series, we've all been waiting for this project since back in 2011 when we got Scream 4. And then we had those mid rumblings from 2012 to like 2015 talking about Scream 5 still being a possibility. Then the whole Harvey Weinstein thing happened. Now we have these talented directors who helped create the awesome horror film last year ready or not they're on board to pay to pay respect to Wes Craven they brought back the original trio and they want to honor that legacy and they even went and got Kevin Williamson back in the producer role and they just want to have they just want to live up to so much that has come before it it's it's clear that they love this franchise they love what they're being given an opportunity to, to create it's like fans getting to create an actual fan film in many ways for them i would imagine so the fact that they want to remain so tight-lipped they've gone out of their way to have kevin williamson who apparently is the one responsible for this they have like leaked scripts online I don't know where these leaked scripts are coming from. I don't think there's actual scripts out there, but it might have to do with this whole a whole slew of leaks that have been on Reddit. But they were talking about why Scream 5 was titled Scream, and they said, when you see the film, it'll all make sense. Essentially just insinuating that something happens in this film that for a lot of us should click as to why this is just being called Scream. Now, what I am deciphering from that is that we're going to be moving away from Sidney Prescott, obviously, and focusing on something that has to do with Melissa Barrera's character, Sam Ortega, not Sam Ortega, <laughs> Sam Carpenter, and then her younger sister, uh, Tara Carpenter, who's played by Jenna Ortega. We're going to be saying goodbye to the story regarding Sidney Prescott. We're going to be saying goodbye to Dewey Riley. We're going to be saying goodbye to Courtney Cox. Those are those. That's what my prediction is with the upcoming Screen 5 film. Whether or not one of them returns, I expect that to be Sidney. I think this is the last time we'll see Gail and Dewey in a screen in a screen film. I think Sidney Prescott will return for future entries if we get that far. But this will be the passing of the torch. And something about this film regarding the Carpenter sisters and the backstory regarding why Sam left town when she was younger and why she's coming back now and why there's a new ghost face killer and how this all connects to them that's going to factor into why the film is being titled Scream it's probably going to have some type of connection to the original film also since it's titled Scream we've already seen behind the scenes images of what looks to be like Neil Prescott's car on set uh, how that factors into the film that is yet to be seen we do it it literally looks like neil prescott's car we don't know for know for a fact if it is neil prescott's car but if it is uh i have like a hunch of sorts what would be happening with the car that i'll go over as the film to release date nears if that is neil prescott's car and then we also know that the stab franchise will make an appearance with uh heather graham gonna have her little clip in in the film in some capacity whether that appear at a party or whether people in town are just playing it somewhere we'll see how it factors in but it's it's very clear that to me anyway something in screen five is going to tie into the original film people have been speculating that billy loomis could have a secret child i've made a video talking about billy loomis having a secret lover i've made billy i've made videos talking about uh, Stu Mocker, Judy Hicks having the thing, and 
how they Stu has a younger brother. That's all. That's still part of my theory. I think Stu's younger brother is going to be one of the killers that we get in this film. And I think the younger brother is amongst the cast. I think that will be. Uh, I don't. I, I think the younger brother is going to be Sam's Sam's boyfriend. I think Sam's Sam's boyfriend will ultimately be Stu's Stu's brother in the end. I think that's going to be a reveal for him. We'll find out that he is Stu's younger brother. And that's how we'll kind of tie this into the original. That's how you'll tie in the connection between the Carpenter sisters and the, and the Prescott family. And how Billy Loomis factors into it. There's already been things that have been on the reddit page if you've seen them you kind of already have a gist of where they could be going with the project whether or not that's true we'll see once the film comes out there's been several different directions that i saw on reddit that they could take the franchise there's one in particular that i'm hoping they go with i'm confident that they are going to go with it because the way everything is being released and the little details that are coming out about the film i think they're going to do the thing that I the thing that I'm hoping they go with I hope they go in the direction that I saw online and the, the direction that I actually uh, got told by someone who deleted their reddit account but I hope it happens you guys will have a better understanding of it once the film comes out if it happens uh, it's gonna be probably one of the better twists that we've gotten in quite a while but honestly I think that scream 5 and it not being titled scream obviously yes it's mostly to do with marketing but them telling us that it's got also now something to do with the narrative that i feel like it's kind of like that's to be expected at this point because you're titling this film scream you're going to want to carve your own path you're going to want to separate yourself from what wes craven has already done while paying respect to him so that you can make your own subsequent sequels the title scream scream for me and scream again is scream forever i do not like those titles whatsoever i hope those are not any any titles at any point in this franchise so <laughs> let me know what you guys think about uh what the directors had to say about scream 5 not being titled scream down in the comment section below are you excited about it what do you think is going to happen uh if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video